For over 20 years, Phil Miller has been selling meat pies from his bakery in Georgetown, Ontario. He sold them to customers and wholesale to other food stores and retailers. But in late December of last year, he was promptly informed after an inspection by Ontario's Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs, he'd have to have $50,000 in upgrades done to his store. My big thing was the fact that they, they no, never notified us. And, and of course, we've never come under provincial regulations either. Including the construction of a special refrigeration room for when the raw vacuum-packed meat is delivered to him to prepare for the pies. Why? Because the meat is coming, you've opened the bag and it's coming into contact with the air and you've got wood up there. Miller, who runs the shop with his wife Wendy and son Vaughn, had to lay off six employees to help make up for the shortfall. There's no reason for it. It's strange that the bakery can still go ahead and sell the pies in the shop, but they can't sell to me now as a wholesaler. A spokesperson for the ministry said that because wholesale is harder to trace, should a health problem be detected in the meat, regulations must be in place to make sure all necessary steps are taken. Why hasn't anybody told us about this? He said, nah. And he said, well, we have advertised it, but there's been cutbacks, and he more or less fudged it off to the public health people. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Terry Davidson.